Haleluya. Haleluya. Hey, you are too quiet why? Eh, hey, mpo kimya sana. Kwa nini? Uh, let's go uh, in John chapter 14. Eh, hebu twende katika Yohana sura ya 14. Yohana mtakatifu 14 kuanzia mstari wa 16, 17 na 18. The brother can read. Uh, ndugu yetu atasoma kwa Kiswahili. Nasema, "Nami nitamwomba baba, naye atawapa msaidizi mwingine ili akae nanyi hata milele. Ndiye roho wa kweli ambaye ulimwengu hawezi kumpokea." kwa kuwa haumuoni wala haumtambui bali ninyi mnamtambua maana anakaa kwenu naye atakuwa ndani yenu sitawaacha ninyi yatima naja kwenu God bless you can sit Mungu awabariki mnaweza kuketi Ah, kuna dada mmoja mtu mzima alinijia. She greeted me. Akanisalim. And she said, "You." Na akasema, "Wewe you are so harsh." Yaani wewe ni mkali kweli kweli. How can you preach that message? Na unapohubiri ujumbe. Ah, I said, "Don't worry." Na nikasema, "Usijali." It was not me. Sikuwa mimi ilikuwa ni mchungaji wako aliyeniambia kwamba moto moto <laughs> so i've seen when i just stood kwa hiyo na sorry when i just stood up na kwa hiyo niliposimama people are quiet eh, watu walikaa kimya what they are expecting wana wanatazamia kitu gani fire, fire. moto moto <laughs> not today <laughs> si leo jamani today i'm in a good mood <laughs> ah leo nipo kwenye hali nzuri kidogo ya kiungwana <laughs> uh, i'll just preach a simple message don't worry <laughs> na nitahubiri tu ujumbe rais msijali pray for me mniombe tu um, for me to stand here it's not easy ah kwa mimi kusimama hapa sio jambo jepesi uh, standing before elders ah kusimama mbele ya wazee you know i'm the youngest here na unajua mimi ndo mwenye umri mdogo kuliko wote hapa and you know the problem of young boys na mnajua shida za vijana au wenye umri <laughs> Uh, mara nyingine they speak anyhow yani wanaongea tu vyovyote and you you expect that is is a young boy na mta, you, you expect you expect that is a young boy ah uh, na nyinyi mnategemea kwamba huyu ni kijana and uh, i think elders will just say is a young boy don't worry na unafikiri wazee wanaweza kusema ah huyu ni kijana msijali hallelujah hallelujah God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Uh, I want to preach about receiving the Holy Spirit. Uh, nataka kuhubiri kuhusu kupokea Roho Mtakatifu. Yeah, pray for my brother with my broken English. Na muombe ndugu yangu kwa sababu kiingereza changu kimevunjika vunjika. Na. Uh, uh, the Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, Roho Mtakatifu it's not something that we must fight for si jambo sio kitu fulani ambacho tunapaswa kukipigania it's god himself who, who said is going to give us ni mungu mwenyewe ndiye aliyesema kwamba anaenda kutupatia we did not ask him to promise us asisi hatukumuomba yeye atuahidi kutupa roho mtakatifu 
it was just upon himself yani hilo lilikuwa juu yake mwenyewe when he was going alipokuwa anaenda he said i'm not going to leave you alone alisema sitawaacha nyie yatima i will leave you with the comforter nitawaachia mfariji haleluya haleluya if pastor oswald promised me to give me money kama ndugu oswald aliniahidi kunipa pesa i won't be troubled Sitajisumbua. Where am I going to get that 10000 shilling? Nitaendaje kupata hiyo shilingi 10000 ya kitanzania? No. Hapana. He has promised me. Ni yeye ndiye aliyeniahidi. My problems of 10000 shilling it has finished. Shida yangu ya shilingi 10000 ya kitanzania imekwisha. He has my 10000 yeye anazo hizo shilingi 10000 yeye I have no problem of looking another 10000 Sina shida ya kutafuta 10000 nyingine He has my 10000 Yeye anayo hiyo 10000 Haleluya Haleluya I have nothing to fight for the Holy Spirit uh, Sina chochote cha kupigania ili nipate Roho Mtakatifu He has promised me the Holy Spirit Mungu ameniahidi mimi Roho Mtakatifu Uh, you allow me to, to take off this jacket. Naomba mniruhusu nitoe koti. So when we believe, kwa hiyo wakati tunapoamini according to Acts chapter 2, kulingana na Matendo sura ile ya pili, the only qualifications a kigezo au vigezo pekee just to repent ni kutubu be baptized na kubatizwa then the holy spirit it's a gift it's a free gift kisha roho mtakatifu ni kipaji huru amina bure bure ni kipawa cha bure hallelujah mm. it's, a, it's a free gift ni kipawa cha bure Why now are we not receiving the free gift? Sasa kwa nini hatuwezi kupokea hicho kipawa cha bure? Because it's free. Kwa sababu kipo bure. Almost everybody here has been baptized. Hapa karibia kila mtu ameshabatizwa kwenye maji. And you have repented. Na mmeshatubu. And most of us we have not received the Holy Spirit. Na sasa wengi wetu hatujapokea huyo Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason is simple. Kuna wanafunzi ah kuna kuna sababu. Ah sababu ni rahisi. Maybe when you were repenting. Labda wakati ulipokuwa unatubu you did not do it well. Haukutubu inavyotakiwa. You, you were doing it in parts. Yaani ulikuwa unatubu kwa sehemu sehemu. Mm, vipande vipande. When somebody is going to visit the doctor, wakati mtu anapoenda kumuona daktari, and then the doctor ask the person to remove his clothes. Na daktari amwambie yule mtu avue nguo zake. Remove all your clothes. Vua nguo zako zote. Who refuses I'm not going to, re- to, re- to remove my clothes. Atakaye kataa kuvua nguo zake? Nani atakataa kuvua nguo zake? Can you raise up your hand? You say I, I, I can't. Nani anasema kwamba sitavua? You know I'm an elder person. Ah unajua mimi ni mzee. A doctor like this boy? Ah na daktari tu kama mvulana huyu can tell me to remove my clothes. Ani aniambie mimi nivue nguo zangu? Ha. Ah doesn't work like that. Eh hiyo ifanye kazi namna hiyo. No. Hapana. We are obedient to the doctors. Sisi ni watii kwa madaktari. We remove all our clothes. Tunavua nguo zetu zote. It doesn't matter a doctor if she's a girl or a boy, we remove 
Bila kujali kama daktari ni mwanaume au mwanamke tunatoa zote nguo yani. E, msiana au mvulana. But when it comes now to repent, sasa inapokuja kwenye kutubu you feel shy. Unaona aibu. You don't open up. Haufunguki. Even just to tell you go in a room. Na kama tu kukuambia nenda chumbani, go and speak to your Jesus. Na uongee na Yesu wako. Even that room. Hata huko tu chumbani. Alone. Ukiwa peke yako. You feel shy to speak to you. Unasikia aibu kumwambia huyo Yesu wako. Mm. Father forgive me. Na baba nisamehe. I do some of the sins. Anafanya baadhi ya mambo. I'm you know I'm not perfect. Ah, na unajua kwamba mimi sio mkamilifu? You know I'm weak. Ah, unajua mimi ni dhaifu? No. Hapana. I know you to be weak. Mm, sorry. God doesn't know him to be weak. Ah, Mungu hajui kama wewe ni dhaifu. No. Hapana. Is your strength. Yeye ni nguvu zako. Amen. So you are strong. Kwa hiyo wewe una nguvu to face any challenge. Kukabiliana na kila changamoto. Don't go to Jesus and say you are weak. Usiende kwa Yesu na ukamwambia uko dhaifu. You know father I'm a sinner. Unajua baba mimi ni mwenye dhambi. You are not a sinner. Si wewe sio mwenye dhambi. Who told you you are a sinner? Nani alikuambia wewe ni mwenye dhambi? You have repented. Umesha tubu. Been baptized. Umebatizwa. So you are not a sinner. Kwa hiyo wewe sio mwenye dhambi. Then you go back. Alafu unarudi tena. Father I'm a sinner. Baba mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Then you must repent. Sasa inabidi utubu tena. And be baptized again. Na ubatizwe tena. So that you become not a sinner again. Ili sasa usiwe mwenye dhambi tena. Yes. The Bible is referring to you. Ah Biblia inakurejea wewe as a righteous man. Kama mtu mwenye haki. Can for seven times. Mara can for. Unaweza ukaanguka mara saba? Yes. Seven times. Yaani mara saba. A righteous man. Mtu mwenye haki. Not a sinner. Sio mwenye dhambi. In the sight of God, mbele za Mungu, you are not sinners. Nyinyi sio wenye dhambi. You are righteous. Ni wenye haki. That condemnation, hiyo hukumu hiyo come from the devil. Inatoka kwa shetani. Every day, kila siku, when you want to pray, unapotaka kuomba, Father forgive me. Baba nisame. No, hapana. Yes. If this man is my father, kama huyu ndugu hapa ni baba yangu, every day when I want to meet him, kila siku unapotaka kukutana naye, at one time I stole money for <laughs> wakati fulani nilimuibiaga hela. From him. <laughs> nilimuibiaga hela wakati fulani. So now it, each time when I want to talk to him, kwa hiyo sasa kila wakati ninapotaka kuongea naye, first I have to confess about the money I stole. Inabidi kwanza nitubu kwa ili zile hela niliibaga. No. Hapana. He has forgiven me. Ameshanisamee. If he has forgiven me, then, then that's all and over. Kama ameshanisamee, hiyo imekwisha jumla. If he has problems with me, kama ana matatizo mengine na mimi, tell me. Aniambie so that I I ask for forgiveness. Ili ni muombe msamaa. And if Jesus has problems with you, na kama Yesu ana matata na wewe, let him tell you. Na kuambie so that you finish all the problems. Ili umalize matatizo yako. So that you stop going there asking for forgiveness every day. Ili uache kumwendea na kuomba msamaha kila siku. 
Hey, we are Christians. Sisi ni wa Kristo. We are sons and daughters of God. Ni sisi ni wana na binti za Mungu. We are not sinners. Sisi sio wenye dhambi. Amen. Amen. We are precious stones. Sisi ni vito vya thamani. That's why the pastor Malasha hiyo ndiyo sababu mchungaji Malasha was warning these men alikuwa akiwaonya hawa watu wa ndugu to take care of you ili yani wawachunge wawajali wawaheshimu because you are not sinners kwa sababu nyie sio wenye dhambi you are precious stones ninyi ni vito vya thamani you are righteous ni wenye haki nyie you are sons and daughters of god Ninyi ni wana na binti za Mungu. These are just caretakers. Wao ni waangalizi tu. You are your father. Mnae baba yenu. Amen. When you want to approach the throne, unapotaka kukaribia kiti cha enzi, Father forgive me. Baba nisamee. No. Hapana. He has forgiven you already. Amesha wasamee tayari. Unless you tell me, ah isipokuwa labda mniambie, you didn't do it correctly. Hamkulitenda sawa sawa. Then you have problems. Andipo una matatizo. Then go back again. Sasa rudi tena. Tell him. Umwambie. Father sit down. Baba hebu keti kidogo hapo. I want to talk to you. Nataka nizungumze na wewe. The time I was repenting wakati ule nilipokuwa nikitubu i did not do it well sikufanya sawa sawa amen so i'm convicted kwa hiyo nimehukumika i'm been condemned na nime e, nimeguswa au nimehukumika and now i want that condemnation to go nataka hiyo hukumu iniache so i want to do it right kwa hiyo nataka kulifanya awamu hii inavyopaswa So that when you come to church now, ili kwamba unapokuja kanisani sasa, you can sing in spirit. Unaweza kuimba katika roho. You can now understand the word. Sasa unaweza kuelewa neno. Amen. And the word can help you. Na neno linaweza kukusaidia. The reason why the word is coming in power, a sababu kwa nini neno linakuja katika nguvu? And it doesn't help you in any way na haikusaidi hata hivyo the reason is you are condemned ah uh, shida yake ni kwamba unahukumiwa yes. when the word comes wakati neno linapokuja find condemnation na linakuta kuna hukumu the word does no does not do anything Yaani neno halifanyi chochote unless you deal with first the condemnation uh, mpaka ushughulikie kwanza hiyo hukumu then, then when the, you receive the word ndipo unapopokea neno then you have power sasa una uweza we are believers who are weak in spirit tunaoaminiwa ambao ni dhaifu katika roho because of not repenting exactly kwa sababu ya kuto kutubu kinaganaga if these men are doctors kama hawa wa hudumu ni madaktari remove all your clothes vueni nguo zenu zote amen tell the man mwambie wewe muhudumu I've done this and that. Yaani nimefanya hili na lile. If he get annoyed, kama akikasirika, it's up to him. Ni juu yake. Me I've confessed. Mimi nimeshatubu. I've done my part. Nimefanya sehemu yangu. It's up now him. Sasa ni juu yake. Some things are very difficult to confess. 
na mambo mengine ni magumu kuyawatubu maybe you you were making secret deals at your company a pengine ulikuwa unapiga deal kampu, kwenye kampuni zako kwenye kule kwenye kampuni yako stealing from the company ukiiba ukiibia kampuni you, you even know that when i go to the company <laughs> na unajua nikienda kule kwenye ile kampuni tell them that i was stealing nikiwaambia nilikuwa nawaibia it's straight myself it's straight to the police yani wananipeleka rumande moja kwa moja come to your pastor njoo kwa mchungaji wako tell him Mwambie I was stealing. Nilikuwa naiba. It's up to him now to tell you to go or not go. Sasa ni kazi yake kukuambia uende au usiende. Amen. You know when you think that maybe is going to look at me like an evil man. Uh, unajua kama utafikiri kwamba yeye ataenda kukuona kama we ni mtu mwovu? Yes you are evil. Hata hivyo we ni mwovu ndio. That's why we are stealing. Ndio maana ulikuwa unaiba. So don't feel shy. Kwa hiyo usione aibu. Because kwa sababu you maintain that evil spirit in you. Unadumisha hiyo roho ya uovu ndani yako usiposema. Yes. Ndio. Amen. Amen. Go to the pastor. Muende mchungaji. Tell him. Mwambie in the church kanisani i still niliiba if it was easy for kama ilikuwa ni simu yake tell him mwambie the phone that you lost ile simu uliyopoteza ile it was me ilikuwa ni mimi hapa If he says I'm going to take you to the police. Na akisema sasa nakupeleka polisi. Let's go. Mwambie sasa twende. Amen. But before you take me there. Lakini kabla hujanipeleka pale, nisamee kwanza. Amen. Amen. Now if you hide. Kwa hiyo kama yeye ata kama ukificha then the sin remains ndipo ile dhambi inakaa amen and the holy spirit won't be upon your life na roho mtakatifu hawezi kuwa juu ya maisha yako it's free ni jambo la bure you don't even have to fight hauhitaji hata upambane the only thing that god is asking you jambo pekee ambalo mungu anakutaka ufanye ni uwe tu safi hivyo tu Amen. When you visit at my place, unapokuja kunitembelea, then my wife prepares you something at a date place, a date plate. Na mke wangu anakuandalia kitu katika sahani chafu. Can you eat? Unaweza kula? No, the answer is no. Hapana, jibu ni hapana. Because it's dirty. Kwa sababu ni kichafu. My wife needs to clean that plate first. Mke wangu inabidi asafishe ile sahani kwanza. Before putting something. Kabla ya kuweka kitu pale. And that's the only thing that God is asking. Na hilo ndio jambo pekee Mungu analokuomba wewe ufanye. Clean that plate. Wewe safisha tu hiyo sahani. Cleaning the plate it's not difficult. Jamani Kuosha sahani sio jambo gumu. Water is available. Maji yapo. Hey! Soap is cheap. Ah, sabuni ni ya bei rahisi. Sana. What's wrong with you? Shida ni nini na wewe sasa? Clean your plate. Osha sahani yako. Water is available. Maji yanapatikana. Soap is available. Sabuni inapatikana. Clean your plate. Safisha yeah. sahani yako. Yeah. Now you have secrets. Sasa kama una mambo ya kisirisiri. You know when you read the Bible, 
Unajua wakati unaposoma Biblia at the time of apostles katika kipindi cha mitume upon being baptized yani ba, yani ukibatizwa tu the person who has been baptized mtu aliyekuwa amebatizwa was receiving the holy spirit alikuwa akipokea roho mtakatifu but with this time lakini wakati huu sasa hey, you, hey, we have baptized so many tumebatiza wengi sana and none has received the holy spirit na hakuna aliyepokea roho mtakatifu it's not with these men who are problems shida sio ya hawa watu no hapana it's you ni wewe These men are just there to represent somebody. Hawa watu wako tu pale kumwakilisha mtu fulani. Because Jesus Christ cannot baptize you. Kwa sababu Kristo hawezi kukubatiza wewe moja kwa moja. in spirit. Kristo yupo katika roho. Amen. So the spirit cannot baptize a man. Kwa hiyo roho haiwezi kubatiza mtu. So the spirit needs Kwenye to, maji. to enter in somebody. Kwa hiyo roho inahitaji kumuingia mtu fulani and to make that, that somebody baptize a man. Na kumfanya huyo mtu ambatize mtu mwingine. So, Hivyo tu. So these are, are vessels. Kwa hiyo hawa ni vyombo. Yeah, they have their own weaknesses. Na wao wana madhaifu yao. Yes. Don't look at their own weaknesses. They are their own weaknesses. Ah uh, usiangalie madhaifu yao hayo ni ya kwao wao wenyewe. Mm. They can lead you to heaven. Wanaweza kuwaongoza mkaenda mbinguni. They can go to hell. Na wao wakaenda kuzimu. Amen. You know the problem that we have. Unajua shida tulionayo? You know what the pastor did. Unajua mchungaji alichofanya? Have you heard? Umesikia? Is that your problem? Eti hiyo ndio shida yako wewe? It's his problem. Hiyo ni shida yake yeye. If he decides to go to hell, it's not my problem. Kama yeye ameamua kwenda kuzimu, sio shida yangu mimi. Yes. Ndio. For Christ to put me under his church. Kwa Kristo kuniweka mimi chini ya kanisa lake, he knows that I'm going to heaven. Yeye anajua kwamba mimi naenda mbinguni. I don't care about his problems. Sijali kuhusu matatizo yake. If it's Christ, kama ni Kristo, was put at me under his leadership. Alieniweka chini ya uongozi wake. Then Christ has something to answer to me. Kwa hiyo Kristo ana kitu fulani cha kunijibia mimi. This man is not my servant. Huyu mtu sio mtumishi wangu. And I was not there where he was uh, being commissioned by God. Na mimi hata sikuepo wakati Mungu anamuagiza. He is just telling me that I'm a pastor. Yeye aliniambia tu kwamba yeye ni mchungaji. I don't know if he's called or not called. Hata sijui kama ameitwa au hajaitwa. But those problems are with him and God. Yaani hayo matatizo ni yake na Mungu wake. So nothing to say no, you know what the pastor did. Kwa hiyo unajua mimi sina cha kusema unajua kile mchungaji alifanya. Are you ready? Amen. I have my own problems. Mimi nina matatizo yangu mimi mwenyewe. I want to make things right with God. Mimi nataka kunyosha mambo yangu na Mungu. If he doesn't want to do so let him be. Kama yeye hataki kufanya hivyo, achana naye. But you, lakini wewe, you must do it right. Ni lazima ufanye sawa sawa. At the day of judgment, katika siku ya hukumu, you're not going to tell God. Hautaenda kumwambia Mungu, you know it was this problem. Unajua hii ndio ilikuwa shida. This man did not do things correctly. Huyu mtu hakufanya mambo sawa sawa. That's why I have to go to hell. Ndio maana mimi naenda motoni. Yes, he's going to tell you with this man and you go to hell. So, he, atakwambia he, wewe, na wewe na huyu mtu wote nendeni motoni. That's it. Hivyo ndi, hivyo tu. And he lose nothing. 
na yeye hapotezi chochote when you confess unapokuwa ukitubu do it correctly fanya sawa sawa when you must now receive the holy spirit ndipo sasa lazima sasa upokee roho mtakatifu You know when you have promised your wife that you are going to buy uh, something for her. Unajua unapomwaahidi mke wako kwamba utaenda kumnunulia kitu fulani. They are always expecting something from you. Mara zote huwa wanategemea wanatarajia kitu kutoka kwako. And they won't sleep. Na hawatalala. Every time they will remind you about what you promised them. Kila wakati watakuwa wanakukumbushia tu kile ulichowaahidi. Some they go to the extent of not talking to you. He, wengine wanaenda hata umbali wa kukununia. Some they go to the extent of not eating food. Wengine wanaenda umbali wa kutokula kabisa chakula. Some they go to the extent of not caring about you. Wengine wanafika mahali hata hawakujali tena. Why are they doing that? Kwa nini wanafanya hivyo? They want something that you promised. Wanataka kile kitu uliahidi. Don't tell your wife no you are, you are a bad wife. Usimwambie mke wako, ah wewe ni mwanamke wa hovyo. Because I promised you something. Kwa sababu nilikuahidi kitu fulani. You're reacting like this. Ndio unaanza kufanya hivyo. No is a good wife. Hapana yeye ni mke mzuri. You promise. Sasa kwa nini wewe uliahidi? You cannot manage. Kama uwezi kutimiza. Prepare water for me so I go to bath. Niandalie maji nataka kwenda kuoga. Prepare for yourself. Jiandalie mwenyewe. <laughs> She's a good wife. Ni mwanamke mzuri. Why promising something that you cannot manage? Kwa nini wewe uliahidi mambo ambayo huwezi kutimiza? Amen. So you must tell God. Kwa hiyo ni lazima umwambie Mungu. Why promising me the Holy Spirit? Kwa nini uliniahidi Roho Mtakatifu? You, which you cannot give me. Ambayo huwezi kunipa. Who told you to promise me? Nani aliyekuambia uniahidi? You, you just started the story. Wewe ndio ulianzisha hayo mambo. Yes. You know a man goes to marry. Mnajua mtu anaenda kuoa to marry? Yeah. Mtu anaenda kuoa I've come to marry you. Ah, nimekuja kukuoa. Okay. Okay. Woman accept. Sawa, anakubali. The man get the girl. Ah, huyo mwanaume anamchukua huyo msichana. The rich at home, wanafika nyumbani. The man tells his wife. Ah, huyo mtu anamwambia mkewe. In the morning, asubuhi you must go to your place lazima uende you eat you must go ah asubuhi nenda kwenu ukale in the evening jioni sasa after eating supper baada ya kula chakula cha usiku you can come back home uje sasa nyumbani tena is a foolish man huyo ni mwanaume mpumbavu a man want to marry mtu anapoenda kuoa he must pre- be prepared ni lazima ajiandae. Die for the wife. Ajiandae kwa ajili ya mkewe. Kufa kwa ajili ya mkewe. He must feed the wife. Lazima amlishe mkewe. He must make sure that the wife looks beautiful. Lazima hakikishe mke wake anaonekana mrembo wa kupendeza. If you have one trouser kama una suruali moja don't worry. Usijali. Let your wife look beautiful. Acha mke wako apendeze. It's the same with Christ. Ni namna hiyo hiyo ilivyo na Kristo. He came here. Alikuja hapa to redeem me. Kunikomboa mimi. I was with the husband. Nilikuwa na mume. Satan. Satan. And he told me that this guy is not good. 
na alipokuja akaniambia hili jamaa sio zuri yani sio jamaa zuri kwa ajili yako nijie mimi sasa nitakufanyia kitu kizuri I'll give you eternal life. Nitakupa uzima wa milele. I'll provide for you. Nitakupa mahitaji yako. Now when I come in the church, sasa napokuja kanisani, and there is no eternal life. Na hakuna uzima wa milele. There is no providing. Hakuna kupatiwa mahitaji. There is no healing. Hakuna uponyaji. Eh, hey, hey, hey. man. Huyu mtu sasa We are now in trouble. Sasa tupo kwenye We shida. We have to fight with him. Tunaenda kupambana naye sasa. If your husband has promised you a car, kama mume wako amekuahidi gari, he has not given you. Na hajakupa, start fighting. Anza kupambana. You must give me a car. Nipe gari. Because you promised. Kwa sababu uliniahidi. You're going to buy a car. Na uliniahidi gari. Where is the car now? Sasa gari liko wapi? <laughs> If Christ has promised us peace. Kama Kristo ametuahidi sisi amani. Where is peace? Sasa amani iko wapi? If there is no peace, kama hakuna amani, ah, let's fight. Hebu tupambane. Let's go him. Hebu tumuite. Nothing for free man. There's nothing for free. Hakuna kitu cha bure. I'm doing a service to him. Mimi ninamtumikia. And he must do a service to me. Na yeye lazima anihudumie. Yes. Ndio. You know to believe this message is not easy. Unajua kuamini ujumbe sio jambo rahisi. To be married to Christ it's not easy. Kuolewa na Kristo sio rahisi. The Bible is saying you must be mad. Biblia inasema lazima ziluke kwanza. For, for you to become a Christian. Ili uwe mkristo. Hallelujah. Now you are no more. Sasa una akili zote. And you must be mad. Lazima ziruke. <laughs> Some of the habits. Baadhi ya tabia. They are difficult to stop. Ni vigumu kuzikomesha. Some of you were enjoying in the bar. Wengi wenu mlikuwa mnaburudika kule bar. And you were enjoying the music in the bar. Na mlikuwa mnafurahia ule mziki kule bar. Oh, it was a good dance in the bar. Oh, ilikuwa ni dance nzuri kule bar. And here comes a man. Hapa sasa mtu anakuja. Come here. Njo hapa. Why are you dancing? Kwa nini unacheza? You must stop dancing here. Lazima uache kucheza. Come and dance to my church. Njo ucheze kanisani kwangu. Okay. Okay. No problem. Hakuna shida. Play the music in the church now. Cheza mziki kanisani sasa. So that sasa. I dance. Ili sasa nicheze. If I'm not dancing, kama sichezi. I'll tell him. Nitamwambia. Where is the music? Mziki uko wapi? I want to dance. Nataka kucheza. You know outside Unajua kule nje guys are marrying Watu wanaoa So you beautiful lady Kwa hiyo wewe mwanamke mrembo Jesus comes Njoo tu Come here Njoo hapa Enter in the church Ingia kanisani And there is no marriage Na hakuna Ah tell him Na kuna ndoa mwambie I had a boyfriend outside Nilikuwa na mpenzi kule nje Who was promising me to marry me? Alieniahidi kunioa. And you said no. Na wewe ukasema hapana. A believer does not marry get married to non believer. Muamini asiolewe na asiamini. And I stopped. Na akaacha kunifuatilia. And I followed what you said. Na nikafuata ulichosema. Provide a husband. Leta mume sasa. We have not come here to joke. Hatuongei kwa mzaha. We must challenge God. Lazima umpe Mungu changamoto. We are here for a serious matter. Tupo hapa kwa biashara yani ya kumaanisha. All the promised 
of all the promises must be fulfilled. Ah, ahadi zote lazima zitimizwe. When you go to heaven, unapoenda mbinguni, even when God gives you money. Ah, kama Mungu anakupa wela, they are in heaven. Kule mbinguni, where are you going to buy a plot? Sasa utaenda kunua kiwanja wapi? No, I'll be married in heaven. Who told you that there will be marriages in heaven? Ah, mimi nitaolewa mbinguni. Nani alikuambia kuna ndoa mbinguni huko? You know this guy Peter? Unajua huyu jamaa Petro huyu? Ask Jesus. Alimuuliza Yesu. We have left all our things. Unajua sisi tumeacha mambo yetu yote. The benefit. Ambayo tulifaidika nayo. It's not the sin to ask him. Sio dhambi kumuomba. Tell him just come here sit down. Mwambie hebu njoo kwanza hapa keti kitako. Where are the promises? Ahadi ziko wapi? The church living without promises. Promises. The church is living without promises. Kanisa linaishi bila ahadi. No. Hapana. Even the president of this country. Hata rais wa hii nchi promised you something. Aliwaahidi kitu fulani wakati wa kampeni. For you to vote for the government. Ili mumpigie kula awe rais. They promised you something. Waliwaahidi jambo fulani. What you you were thinking it is good when you vote this man ambalo liliwashawishi mkaona kwamba litakuwa zuri mkampigia kula and if he is not fulfilling his promises na kama hatimizi ahadi zake you change the government mnabadilisha serikali amen no we live like we are strangers sasa tunaishi kama ni kama wageni no hapana We are sons and daughters. Sisi ni wana na binti. We have a title deed. Tunayo hatimiliki. It's a very big mistake for him to tell me to stop what I was doing. Unajua ni alinikosea sana aliponiambia niache niliyokuwa nafanya and to introduce me in this message na akanitambulisha katika huu ujumbe he must do something to please me lazima afanye jambo fulani la kunipendeza it's not a joke sio mzaha out the outside there kule nje kule i was enjoying the world nilikuwa naburudika ulimwengu when i come to the message nilipokuja kwenye ujumbe i must enjoy the message nataka niburudike kwenye ujumbe it's not slavery sio utumwa it's husband and wife ni jambo la mume na mke in, in, in fact in this Kiukweli, process katika huu mchakato huu you know when you engage someone unajua unapomchumbia mtu fulani it's when ma, men give money to their girlfriends huo ndio wakati vijana wanatoa pesa nyingi sana kwa wanawake Hawawapi sana wanapowaoa because we have problems in our homes. <laughs> Kwa sababu tuna shida kwenye nyumba zetu. But the time of uh, relationship. Lakini kwenye ule wakati wa uchumba ule, mahusiano. Eh, katika uchumba ule na urafiki. Ah, we oh, we suffer a lot. Yaani we suffer a lot. Tunateseka sana. <laughs> Buying shoes. Ah, unanunua viatu vizuri? Lotions? Ah, mafuta mazuri ya lotion. Expensive lotions. Lotion ya bei ya juu. Perfumes. Perfume, manukato, marash. If you hear someone saying I'll, I'll buy when you come to my place. Ukimsikia mtu fulani anasema nitakununulia nitakapokuoa. Hey. <laughs> 
He has nothing to offer, let me tell you. Huyo hana cha kukupatia ngoja nikwambie leo. He cannot give you money. Hawezi kukupa hela. Sister, listen to me. Dada hebu nisikilize vizuri. No, I'll give you when we get married. Ah, unajua tutakapoana nitakupatia. Hey hey. You are lost. Umepotea. He has nothing to offer. Hana cha kukupa huyo. In the house we have more problems. Tukiwa kule ndani tuna tabu chungu nzima. The time to enjoy the relationship. Yaani muda wa kuyafaidi mahusiano. Time of courtship. Ni wakati wa urafiki. Na wewe ni courtship. Sasa kwenye uchumba wenyewe. Sleeping. Nalala. At the floor. Nalala sakafuni no blanket hakuna blanket la kujifunika my fiance eh mpenzi wangu chumba wangu i have no mattress sina godoro i don't worry ah, usijari you find it at home <laughs> utalikuta nyumbani ah, 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 ah. buy one for me <laughs> hebu nunua kwanza hapa sasa hivi <laughs> i'm sleeping at the floor nalala sakafuni hapa How many years am I going to sleep at the floor? Ni miaka mingapi nitaenda kulala sakafuni? You must buy. Ni lazima unu, lazima ununue moja kwanza hapa. Then one for me that side now. Na lingine sasa kule tukienda. I have no problems. So? I have no problems. Sina shida. If you buy two. Ukinunua mawili. No problems with me. Hamna shida, mimi sina shida. Now we are in a courtship with Jesus. Sasa tupo kwenye uchumba na Yesu. We must enjoy his promises. Lazima tufurahi tufaidi ahadi zake. And if he can tell us, na kama atatuambia, that we are going to enjoy in heaven. Tutaenda kuburudika mbinguni. You have the authority. Unayo mamlaka. You are not a slave. Wewe sio mtumwa. These men are slaves. Hawa wa ndugu hawa watumwa wao. These are slaves. Hawa ndo watumwa. You are not a slave. Nyie sio watumwa. Amen. These men have no right. Hawa hawa wa ndugu hapa hawana haki. To control their bosses. Ya kuwa to control control ya kuamrisha mabosi wao If today just say you go to Zambia Labda leo aseme anaenda Zambia He is not going to say my wife she's sick Ye yeah, hawezi kusema kwamba mke wangu ni mgonjo so wait, first I do this and that Kwa hiyo ngoja kwanza nifanye hili na lile kwa kwa ajili ya mke wangu Then after three months then I'll go to Zambia Kwa hiyo baada ya miezi mitatu nitaenda Zambia He is going to be whipped Ataenda kucharazwa. Is a servant. Ni mtumwa. Are you mtumishi. Nyie ni watumishi. No, you are daughters and sons. Nyie ni wana na binti. One time when I was uh, I had problems at my home. Wakati fulani nilipokuwa na shida nyumbani kwangu, then my son was looking for shoes na mtoto wangu alikuwa anahitaji viatu so the mother told my son that your father this time has issues kwa hiyo mama yake akamwambia baba wako wakati huu ana mambo my son told my wife a mwanangu akamwambia mke wangu those problems are not my problems <laughs> yani hayo matatizo sio matatizo yangu mimi haya ni usu you have problems with you and your husband yani hayo matatizo ni yako wewe na huyo mmeo not with me sio na mimi if you have to die kama itakulazimu ufe to provide a shoe 
ili nipe kiatu mimi kufa and my wife was very annoyed na mke wangu akakasirishwa sana the time was gone eh uh, wakati nilipokuja what's the problem here nikasema kuna shida gani hapa then she explained na akanielezea i said okay nikasema sawa go outside i, I told my son go outside nikamwambia mwanangu toka nje kidogo then i said okay sit down nikamwambia sasa kaa chini what the son said kile mtoto amesema is right ni sawa amen amen is not in any way part of our problems yani yeye si sehemu yao matatizo kwa namna yoyote these problems are between you haya matatizo ni kati yako wewe na mimi. All what we need is to find what our son is asking for. Kile tunachopaswa kufanya ni kutafuta kile mtoto wetu anahitaji. Because our son has the right. Kwa sababu mtoto wetu anayo haki. If we don't provide he can take us to the police. Kama hatumpatii mahitaji anaweza kutupeleka polisi. Yeah, this time there is human rights. Na sasa wakati huu kuna haki za binadamu. If you don't provide well to your children. Kama huwatunzi vizuri watoto wako. The child will take you to the police. Watoto watakupeleka polisi. So I have the right. Kwa hiyo ninayo haki. To tell him come here. Kumwambia njoo hapa. Sit here. Aketi hapa. I want to ask you something. Nataka kukuuliza kitu fulani. Those promises. Zile ahadi. Amina Now the reason why we have no we have no power. Sasa sababu kwamba hatuna hiyo nguvu au ujasiri. There is condemnation in our heart. Kuna hukumu mioyoni mwetu. The time you want to tell him come here. Wakati nataka kumwambia njoo hapa because it's light. Kwa sababu ni nuru. When the room is dark. Wakati kosa ni giza. Ah wakati chumba ni giza. You don't see anything. Huoni chochote. When you just switch on the light. Na unapowasha taa you see everything utaona kila kitu so if you are saying jesus come here kwa hiyo unaposema yesu njoo hapa you are placing on the light unawasha taa then make sure your life must be clean sasa hakikisha maisha yako ni masafi then now you have the power sasa una huo ujasiri You know a good wife has nothing to fear her husband. Unajua mwanamke mwema hana cha kumuogopea mmewe. Because it, they are friends. Kwa sababu wao ni marafiki. A bad wife has always has problems. Mke mbaya siku zote ana matatizo. When I want to ask something, sasa ninapotaka kuomba jambo, maybe is going to get annoyed. Labda atakasirisha, atakasirika. You are not a good wife, go get out. Wewe sio mwanamke mzuri, kwa hiyo naenda. But if you're a good wife, lakini kama wewe ni mke mwema, even though it tells you get out. Hata kama atakwambia enda nje. Come here my husband. Naambia njoo hapa mume wangu. Sit here. Kaa kwanza hapa. What have I done? Nimefanya nini? for you to tell me get out ili wewe uniambie nitoke you have the right unao ujasiri but if you are a bad wife lakini ukiwa mke mbaya hutaweza kusema hivyo amen 
Oh we what we need? Yote tunayohitaji is to be good wives. Ni kuwa wake wema. Simple. Raisi tu hivyo. We don't need to buy. Hatuhitaji kununua. Don't to pay. Hatuhitaji kulipa. Don't need to to fight for it. Hauhitaji ku pambana kwa ajili ya hiyo. It's free. Ni kitu cha bure. God bless you. Mungu awabariki. What I've come to tell you today. Kile nimekuja kuambia leo. Holy Spirit it's free. Roho mtakatifu ni wabure. You must demand for the Holy Spirit. Ni lazima umdai Roho mtakatifu. It is yours. Ni wako. Amen. If you want healing, kama unahitaji uponyaji, it's already there. Uponyaji upo hapo tayari. You have it. Unao. You don't not, don't need to go and look for for it somewhere else. Hauhitaji kwenda kutafuta mahali pengine. No. Hapana. All what you need is to tell the servant. Yote unaohitaji ni kumwambia mtumishi go and bring my healing nenda kanilete uponyaji wangu you know when you have a maid amen a maid au unajua unapokuwa na mjakazi in your house nyumbani mwako you know our sisters they they become lazy unajua dada zetu sasa wanakuwa wazembe wanalegea they wake up early hawa hawaamki mapema they don't wake up early Awaamki mapema. They wake up around 9. Wanaamka mida ya saa 3:00 huko. Because they know that there is a maid to sweep the house. Sababu wanajua kuna mfanyakazi wa kufagia nyumba. They, they have nothing to prepare for the children. Hawana cha kuandaa kwa ajili ya watoto. They know that there is a maid to prepare. Wanajua kuna mfanyakazi wa kuandaa. So we've been to the church. Kwa hiyo hata kanisani you have no problems. Hamna matatizo. Sleep. Laleni. Become lazy. Endeleni <laughs> kuwa wazembe. When you need tea, mnapotaka chai, tell these men. Waambieni hao wafanyakazi. Go and bring tea. <laughs> Nendeni mkatuletee chai. <laughs> these are servants. Yes. Hawa ni watumishi. Amen. You want the Holy Spirit? Nataka Roho Mtakatifu. Tell these men. Waambieni hao watu. Go and bring the Holy Spirit. Nenda kanilete Roho Mtakatifu. But if you're not good to your husband. Lakini kama wewe sio mwema kwa mume. The husband is going to give instruction to the maid. Sasa mume wako atenda kumpa maelekezo huyu. If my wife ask for tea. Kama mke wangu akiomba chai, don't give her. Usimpe. <laughs> What's the problem, Bwana? Shida ni nini? I've instructed you Nimekupa maelekezo. Don't give my wife tea. Usimpe mke wangu chai. And when we, you wake up, na utakapoamka hiyo saa 3:00, come here. Chopa. I want tea. Nataka chai. No tea for you today. Leo hakuna chai kwa ajili yako.
Because you're not good to your husband. Kwa sababu wewe sio mwema kwa mume wako. These men are there for you. Hawa watu wako hapo kwa ajili yenu. I want to emphasize that they are servants. Nataka kusisitiza kwamba hao ni you watumishi. Must instruct them. Ni lazima you must instruct them. Ni lazima muwaelekeze. Tell your boss I need this. Yaani uambieni kwamba kamwambia bosi wako nahitaji hichi. It, 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 yeah, you, are, you, have, you have been giving prayer requests, right? Ndiyo umetoa kalatasi ya maombi, sawa? Yeah, that's in short. You are saying go and tell Jesus that I want a husband. <laughs> yaani hiyo ni kiraisi kusema kwamba kamwambie Yesu nahitaji mume. Yes, ndiyo. And that's your right. Na hiyo ni haki yako. It's the reason why he brought you here. Hiyo ndio sababu alikuleta wewe hapa. He has to provide for you. Ni lazima akupatie mahitaji yako. And he has done well so that he has employed a servant for you. Na amefanya vizuri hata ameanda ameajiri wafanyakazi kwa ajili yako. He is a good boss. Yeah, ni bosi mzuri. Hey. Amen. Look at this old man. Angalia huyu mzee hapa. I'm young. Na mimi ni kijana. But I can tell this man. Lakini naweza kumwambia huyu mzee. Go and tell your boss. <laughs> Nenda kumwambia bosi wako. I have rights. Ninayo haki. Not according to his age. Sio kulingana na umri wako. I'll tell him. Nitakwambia. I'm sending you. Ninakutuma to go and tell your boss. Ukamwambia bosi wako that i need a car kwamba nahitaji gari and this man won't refuse na huyu bwana hata kataa run atakimbia quickly ha upesi to go and tell his boss kumwambia bosi wake so your wife she's looking for a car kwamba mkeo anataka gari if three four days kama siku mbili tatu i don't receive a car na sipokei gari i go back to them namrudia you wewe did, did you tell your boss <laughs> ulimwambia bosi wako that i'm looking for a car kwamba mimi nahitaji gari if he has no answers kama hana majibu eh hey. hey. what are you doing now sasa kazi yako ni nini what's your problem shida yako ni nini Amen. go and tell your boss nenda kumwambia bosi it's my right ni haki yangu yewe amina amen hallelujah why are you failing to come to these men sasa kwa nini unashindwa kuja kwa hao wafanyakazi? Because you know that God is going to answer these men. Kwa sababu unajua Mungu ataenda kuwajibu that you have seen in your heart. Kwamba una dhambi moyoni mwako. Yes. Ndio. You cannot force this man. Huwezi kumlazimisha huyu mtu. Go. Nenda. Tell your boss. Mwambie bosi wako. I want this. Ninataka hichi. Yes. I've never come across. Sijawahi kukutana na a believer na muaminio by force kwa nguvu telling me akiniambia I want the Holy Spirit. Nataka Roho Mtakatifu. No. Hapana. Because if you don't have it, kwa sababu kama hauna Where are you going? Unaelekea wapi? Yes. Amen. Because being a believer kwa sababu kuwa muaminio it's not a guarantee that you are going to heaven. Yaani hiyo haikuhakikishii kwamba unaenda mbinguni. Amen. It's like a, a man proposing a girl that I will marry you. Ni kama mvulana anapomtaka msichana kwa ajili ya kumuoa. They must be a token. Lazima kuwe na ishara. For a, a girl to know that this man is serious ili huyu binti ajue kwamba huyu bwana anamaanisha not meeting in town sio kukutana mjini come in town njoo mjini buy you some uh, uh, fruits anakunulia wewe matunda a dress na gauni now you see sasa unaona i love you nakupenda no hapana it's not enough 
Hiyo haitoshi. Oni pe token. Nenda kalipe ishala. To my parents. Kwa wazazi wangu. That's the assurance now. Huo ni uthibitisho sasa. Now I've got rights now to command my husband. Sasa ninayo haki ya kumwamrisha ama kumwamuru mume wangu. Because he has paid a token to my my parents. Kwa sababu amelipa ishala ama mahali kwa wazazi wangu. Now I have got power to introduce him to anyone. Na hapo sasa na ujasiri wa kumtambulisha kwa kila mtu. Because he paid a token. Kwa sababu amelipa mahali. But you have just met in the streets. Lakini tumekutana mtaani. Wewe ni mume wangu. If you come to church, kwa unapokuja kanisani, you you get baptized. Unabatizwa? You have met a man. Ume hapo umekutana na mwanaume. Maisha ni mwako. Now tell him to pay something to your parents. Sasa mwambie alipe kitu fulani kwa wazazi wako. Na hiyo ni Roho Mtakatifu. The prophet is saying, Nabii anasema, that's a seal. Huo ni muhuri. Amen. If you don't have a seal, kama hauna muhuri, where are you going? Unaelekea wapi? If I say I want to go to to Zambia today, nikisema nataka kwenda Zambia leo, then I tell you I'm going, don't worry. Naambia sasa msijali, naenda. I reach at the station. Nafika stage stand. No ticket. Sina ticket. What are you doing here, Pastor? Eh, hey, mchungaji unatafuta nini hapa? I'm going to Zambia. Naenda Zambia. See you. Tutaonana. <laughs> the one of the bus. Miliki wa basi. Where is the ticket? Eh, hey, ticket iko wapi? Don't worry. Ah, usijali. I'm going to Zambia. Naenda Zambia. You must first buy a ticket. Ni kwanza lazima ulipie ile ticket. You are here to go to heaven. Wewe uko hapa uende mbinguni. You must make sure that you have a ticket. Ni lazima uhakikishe kwamba unayo ticket. When the bus will come. Wakati gari litakapokuja basi, you have the whole rights. Una haki yote to get into the bus ya kupanda kwenye bus amen 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 i'm a passenger usiseme mimi ni msafiri because i'm at, I'm at the station kwa sababu nipo kituoni no hapana where is the ticket ticket iko wapi and these men are here na hawa watu hapa they have tickets wanazo tiketi zao wanazo ticket Why can't you come? Kwa nini usije? And tell these men. Na uambie, I need a ticket. Nahitaji ticket. Give me a ticket. Mnipe ticket. I'm going to go home. Hamtaenda nyumbani leo. Give me a ticket. Mpaka mnipatie ticket. You must be provoked. Yaani hiyo lazima ikuchokoze ikuchefue. Don't be relaxed. Yaani usitulie tu. Uka relax. Usibweteke. Asante. No, no I'm a Christian. Don't worry. Ah, unajua mimi ni Mkristo usijali. One day God is going to give me the Holy Spirit. Siku moja Mungu atanipaga Roho Mtakatifu. Who told you? Nani alikuambia? When you have servants. Wakati unapokuwa na watumishi. It's their duty to give you the holy spirit ni wajibu wao kuwapatia roho mtakatifu they are sleeping wanalala the whole night usiku mzima no problems hakuna matatizo yanayokuja but you are many here lakini mko wengi hapa you mean all oh, you you don't have problems ina maanisha nyie wote hapa hamna matatizo give them problems Wapeni matatizo. They are there to solve your problems. Wako pale kutatua matatizo yako. Command them. Wa, wa Tell them God has to answer you. <coughs> Sorry. 
God has to answer you. Mungu lazima awajibu. About my problem. Kuhusu shida yangu. God must answer you today. Mungu lazima awape majibu leo. Early morning. Asubuhi na mapema. I'll be at your doorstep. Nitakuwa mlangoni hapa. Not to visit you. Sio kukusalimia. But to hear what God has answered you. Ila kukusikia Mungu amekwambia nini. Kuhusu jibu langu. Now they are here. Sasa wako hapa. Comfortable. Yaani wametulia. Wamestarehe. Fat. Vitambi. You are not fasting. Hawafungi because you have no problems. Sababu hakuna matatizo. If you have problems, kama una matatizo, we must fast. Lazima tufunge. So that your problems are over. Ili matatizo yenu yaishe. If you are not receiving the Holy Spirit, kama hampokei Roho Mtakatifu, we pray today. Tunaomba leo. No Holy Spirit. Hakuna Roho Mtakatifu. Again, tena no no Holy Spirit. Hakuna Roho Mtakatifu. I must go and fast. Lazima nione niende nikafunge. To go and ask my boss. Niende nikamuulize aliyeniajili. This person is not receiving the Holy Spirit. Kwa nini huyu mtu hapokei Roho Mtakatifu? But if you're not asking me about the Holy Spirit. Lakini kama hamniulizi kuhusiana na Roho Mtakatifu. Should I go and fast? Naenda kufungia nini? Just pay time. Ili, ili tu ulipe zaka. So that I eat. Ili nile. I eat good food. Nile chakula kizuri. If you don't pay time. Kama hulipi zaka. Umelaaniwa. Because that's my share also. Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo riziki yangu pia. That's my pay. Huo ndiyo mshahara wangu. He said this 10%. Akasema hii asilimia 10. Waleteni walawi. That's so. Hivyo tu. The other 90%. Hizo 90 zilizobaki ni zako. In 10%. Hizi 10. That's so. Tu ndio hizo za kwangu. But if you want your, your, your salary to work. Lakini ukitaka mshahara wako ufanye problems. kazi, niletee matatizo. We have come all the way from Zambia. Tumekuja safari yote kutokea Zambia. For us to come here God has had a reason why. Ili sisi tuje hapa Mungu alikuwa na sababu ya sisi kuja hapa. If you're not going to use as wisely, kama mnataka kuenda kututumia sisi kama hamtatutumia sisi kwa busara we are going to go a free man. Tunaenda kurudi tukiwa huru kabisa. Mna matatizo. Jioni. That's why we are here. Hiyo ndio sababu tuko hapa. Hallelujah. You don't have the Holy Spirit. Hauna Roho Mtakatifu. Jo. If you are sincere in your life. Kama wewe ni mnyofu maisha ni mwako. And you know that God has to give me the Holy Spirit. Na unajua kwamba Mungu lazima anipe Roho Mtakatifu. Jo hapa. You will receive the Holy Spirit. Utapokea Roho Mtakatifu. But if you don't want? Lakini kama hutaki? We are going to eat your food. Tunaenda kula chakula chako. And you will get fat. Na tutanenepa. More fat. Tunakuwa wanene zaidi. And we will go home. Na tutaenda nyumbani. For us it's a plus to be in Tanzania. Kwetu sisi ni ziada kuwa Tanzania. Because you have visited Tanzania. Kwa sababu tumetembelea Tanzania. Yes. Ndio. For you lakini kwenu nyie it's a minus nini kutoa yani sisi kwetu ni ziada nyie kwenu ni kupungukiwa yes hmm. i'm provoking you yani nawachokoza so that you can get ili kwamba muweze kupokea what is yours kile kilicho mali yenu men from zambia wan, wa, watu kutoka zambia watumishi kutoka zambia they did not come here to see how beautiful is dar es salaam Hawakuja hapa kuona jinsi Dar es Salaam ilivyo nzuri. No. Hapana. They came because of you. Walikuja kwa ajili yako wewe. Jesus Christ, Christ, Christ see it fit so that you may receive today the Holy Spirit. 
Aha, Kristo aliona kwamba inafaa kwa wewe kupokea Roho Mtakatifu leo. Usione aibu. I have stayed long in the church. Oh, nimekaa kanisani muda mrefu. And then when the pastor see me going in the front. Na sasa mchungaji ananiona anapita mbele pale. But I don't have the Holy Spirit. Kwamba sina Roho Mtakatifu. Oh, he's going to see me like hell. Atenda kuniona mimi kama vile Uzim. No. Hapana. Yes, his own life. So, yes, his own life. Yeye yeah, na maisha yake. I have also my own life. Na mimi na yangu. Amen. With this naked eyes. Nikiwa na haya macho makali kabisa makavu. See that you don't have the Holy Spirit. Siwezi kuona kama hauna Roho Mtakatifu. In fact when you come to church, kiwalisia unapokuja kanisani, your behaviors are good. Tabia zako ni nzuri, zinakuwa nzuri. Yaani wote ni wa Kristo. Unless you go outside, isipokuwa ukitoka kule, maybe it's when we can know that you're not a believer. Huko ndo tunaweza kujua kwamba wewe sio muamini. But we don't need to start looking around anywhere for you. Sasa hakuna haja ya kwanza sisi kuangalia kila mahali uko uliko. So that we know if you are not a, you are, you are believer or not a believer. Ili tujue kwamba we ni Mkristo au, au ni muamini au sio muamini. You have your senses to tell you that you are not a believer. Yaani wewe una hisi za kukuambia kwamba wewe sio muamini. And you have senses that can tell you that you don't have the Holy Spirit. Na kuna hisi inaweza kukuambia kwamba hauna Roho Mtakatifu. It's not how many years you have been in the message. Si jambo la miaka mingi ulionayo kwenye ujumbe. It's not that I'm a dico. Si kwamba mimi ni shemasi. It's not that I'm the wife of the pastor. Si kwamba mimi ni mke wa mchungaji. I'm a wife of a dico. Ah, mke wa shemasi. I'm a wife of a minister. Ni mke wa mhudumu. If they see me going in front. Ah, wakiniona natoka mbele. Oh, 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 oh. I disappoint my husband. Ah, nitamvunja moyo mume wangu. The Bible is saying, Biblia inasema, you are going to be two at the bed. Wawili watakuwa kitandani, one will go. Mmoja ataenda, one will remain. Mwingine atabaki. I always tell my wife. Mara zote namwambia mke wangu, when you read that verse, unaposoma huo mstari, you must point at me. Natakiwa unionyoshe mimi kidole. This man will remain. Wewe ndio utakaye baki. Mimi naenda. Don't say, usiseme is going to go also. Baba wewe utaenda. Then I go. Na mimi nitaenda. In the message one in a million, katika ujumbe mmoja katika milioni moja, the, the prophet is saying, nabii anasema if in this country there will be a million, kama kwenye hii nchi kutakuwa na watu milioni, at that million one is one who is chosen na katika hiyo milioni ni mmoja anayechaguliwa to to ambaye ataenda mbinguni that one is me huyo mmoja ni mimi Amina. don't say the pastor usiseme mchungaji no hapana it's a personal ni jambo lako binafsi it's a personal issue ni jambo lako binafsi don't say the husband usiseme mume wangu not say the, the my wife usiseme mke wangu no hapana it's a personal issue ni jambo lako binafsi Amen. even though here uh, uh, ingawa hapa they say it's only one who is going ni mmoja tu anayeenda it's me ni mimi I don't care how many priests are here. Sijali wahudumu wako wengi kiasi gani? None of my business. Hainihusu. I don't care how many you are. Sijali mko wengi kiasi gani? None of my business. Hainihusu. It's me who is going to go first. Ni mimi ndo naenda kwanza. If there will be number two. Kama kutakuwa kuna namba mbili huko nyuma. Look for number two here. Sasa huko jichagulieni nani atakuwa namba mbili. Msitafute wa kwanza. Number one is me. Na wa kwanza nafasi ya kwanza ni yangu. Then the rest. Sasa nyie chagueni namba 2. Amina. Don't argue with me. No, it's number one. No. Usinibishie kwamba mimi ni namba 1. Ni mimi ndo wa kwanza. Amen. It's free. 
ni kitu cha bure going to heaven kwenda mbinguni ni jambo la bure all what we need yote tunayohitaji is to post things right ni kunyosha mambo hivyo tu then these men ndipo hao watumishi they are going to be your servants wataenda kuwa watumishi wenu if you don't put things right kama hamumnyoshi mambo these men are not your servants hawa watu sio watumishi wenu <coughs> even though you give them the request ingawaje mnawapa ma- maombi that your request will be negative maombi yenu yatakuwa kinyume yani hayatajibiwa because they are boss kwa sababu mwajiri wao is going to tell them atawaambia tell my wife mwambie mke wangu i'm not interested sipendezewi na hili yani let him change muache kwanza abadilike you know getting a stick so a stick and apata fimbo and beat a child na kumchapa mtoto it's not that you have hurt that child ah okay Unapochukua fimbo na kumchapa mtoto sio kwamba unamchukia huyo mtoto. You love that child. Unampenda huyo mtoto. You want that child to go in a, in a normal way. Unataka huyo mtoto aende katika njia nzuri. Because you know that if this child go in this way, kwa sababu unajua kama huyo mtoto ataenda njia hii, he is going to face problems. Atakutana na matatizo huko mbele. Because has been an elder kwa sababu nimekuwa mzee you have seen much ah umeona mengi yani umekuwa mzee umeona mengi i can preach naweza kuhubiri i can become a pastor naweza kuwa mchungaji but i must have an elder lakini lazima niwe na mzee if i'm not elder kama sina mzee hey you will find my church all members are crazy utakuta eh kanisani kwangu washirika wote wamechanganyikiwa no, no one is controlling me hakuna mtu anaye ni inidhibiti when i get excited nikihemka i will tell the, the men nitawaambia wanaume ask the sisters Ivy. Ivy. ah nikipata muhemko nawaambia wa ndugu kumbatieni wa, kumbatieni wadada because i'm excited kwa sababu nimehemka but when the elders see that lakini mzee anapoliona hilo anambia njo hapa that's not right hiyo sio sawa sawa because him kwa sababu yeye he has seen a lot ameona mengi vya kutosha the downfall ya mambo ya kuanguka and the up na yaliyo juu yani mabaya na mazuri ya yeah, uh, yaliopo kwenye huu ujumbe. Yeye anaweza kutuambia zaidi. Lakini mimi siwezi kuambia yote. Because I'm mimi bado ni kijana kwenye ujumbe. And when, Jesus, when Christ is, is, is not answering your prayers. Na wakati Kristo anakuwa ajibu maombi yenu, it's not that you are not a child of God. Hiyo imaanishi kwamba wewe sio mtoto wa Mungu. Hiyo ni anakuwa anakukutia nidhamu so that you can go in the right way. Ili uende katika njia inayostahili. So Ili kwamba upokee Roho Mtakatifu. But when you know that you don't have the Holy Spirit. Lakini unapojua kwamba hauna Roho Mtakatifu Why now being comfortable? Sasa unawezaje kubweteka? Because it's free. Kwa sababu ni wabure. Who is going to tell you that if you want the Holy Spirit you must pay? Nani atakwambia kwa sababu unataka Roho Mtakatifu lipia? Okay, if this man tells you that you must pay. Kwa hiyo kama hao watu watawaambia inabidi mlipie. We from Zambia. Sisi tunaotoka Zambia. We are telling you Holy Spirit is free. Kama wao wanawaambia hivyo sisi tunatoka Zambia tunawaambia ni wabure. And if you don't get it, na kama hamumpati, it's your problem now. 
shida ni yenu sasa if you are sick kama we ni mgonjwa and you go back home sick na unaenda nyumbani ukiwa mgonjwa ni shida yako it's free ni wabure some of the the sickness baadhi ya magonjwa come because you don't behave well yanakuja kwa sababu hauenendi vizuri and god is giving me a stroke na mungu anakucharaza kiboko so that you, you can realize that where i'm going is not the good way ili utambue kwamba njia nayo iendea sio njia sahihi but what do we do sasa unajua tunafanya nini when you have bp unapokuwa na pressure Sasa sasa unaanza kusema oh i have bp oh nina pressure when i i get excited ninapohemka ah my bp goes up yani pressure yangu inapanda so don't get excited kwa hiyo si si shangirii no hapana get excited shangilia so that your bp can go up ili sasa pressure yako ipande and these men ili hawa watu they come waje and pray for you na kukuombea so that that devil can go ili huyo pepo aende zake bp pressure it's not from god haitoki kwa mungu it's the devil ni pepo sugar kisukari it's not from the uh, from god haitoki kwa mungu it's from the devil inatoka kwa shetani and the christians na wa kristo are uh, like they are feeling good with demons yani wanaona inaonekana wanajisikia vizuri wakiwa na mapepo one time i had bp wakati fulani nilikuwa na pressure it reached at the extent where i was going for treatment ilifikia hadi kipindi nilipokuwa naenda kwa ajili ya matibabu they rejected wakanikataa they can see me coming wanaweza kuniona nikija and they can tell one of the workers na wanaweza kuambia mmoja kati ya wafanyakazi go and tell that man that go home and drink water kamwambie yule mtu nenda nyumbani ukanywe maji we don't have any medicine for him Hatuna dawa yoyote kwa ajili yake. Imezidi. So I was at the clinic. Kwa hiyo nilikuwa kwenye clinic one time. Wakati mmoja, one is came. Muuguzi mmoja akaja. And he told me that today we are not going to treat you. Akaniambia leo hatukutibii. We are tired. Tumechoka. I said okay. You are tired? Nikasema sawa, mmechoka. All right, now I must apply for someone who is going is not going to tired. Sasa itabidi sasa ni apply kwa mtu ambaye hata nichoka. Amen. Then I told my wife, Ndipo nikamwambia mke wangu, If this problem comes again, Kama hii shida itakuja tena, Don't take me anywhere. Usinipeleke popote. Let me die. Niache nife. Because I have a doctor kwa sababu ninaye daktari ambaye hatibu ugonjwa wowote ninaye mponyaji ambaye hawezi kuponya so when you just see me kwa hiyo utakaponiona tu in the same situation katika hali hiyo wewe niache tu then i in the night akisha usiku i i said lord nikasema bwana i am tired nimechoka i'm also tired na mimi pia nimechoka i'm not tired of anyone sijamchoka yoyote i'm tired of you nimekuchoka wewe <laughs> you are my doctor wewe ni daktari wangu and you cannot give me any medicine. Na huwezi kunipa dawa yoyote. You are my healer. Wewe ni mponyaji wangu and you can't heal me. 
na huwezi kuniponya so i'm dead kwa hiyo nimechoka that nurse told me that he's dead yule muuguzi aliniambia amechoka i'm also dead na mimi nimekuchoka a simple prayer maombi raisi amen amina nikaenda kulala from that time tangu wakati huo hata sasa hivi no hakuna pressure how can you have a doctor unawezaje kuwa na daktari who cannot treat any disease ambaye hawezi kuponya ugonjwa wowote fire him mfukuze kazi huyu how can you have a driver unawezaje kuwa na dereva who cannot drive a car ambaye hawezi kuendesha gari who are you wewe ni nani driver dereva drive this car endesha ile gari i don't know sijui are you a driver mimi ni dereva go to farm ah wewe ni dereva wewe nenda shamba I need a driver. Nahitaji dereva. Who can drive a car? Anaweza kuendesha gari. You need Christ. Unahitaji Kristo. Who can be a provider? Anaweza kukupa mahitaji yako. You are not single ladies. Single ladies. Yaani nyie sio wanawake msio wanaume. You are engaged. Mmeposwa. To a man kwa mwanamume who is called Jesus Christ. Anaitwa Yesu Kristo. Maybe you have forgotten. Ah, pengine umesahaulika. Let me tell you again. Labda nikwambie tena. You are engaged. Umeposwa. To a man. Kwa mwanaume. His name. Jina lake Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. And if someone is engaged. Na kama mtu ameposwa. All responsibility of the father and what? Majukumu yote ya baba na nani? The father stops. Baba anasimamisha. When the girl go to the father. Huyo binti anapoenda kwa baba, I'm looking for shoes. Nataka viatu. The father will say no. Baba anasema hapana. The husband. Unaye mume. Go and tell your husband that you want shoes. Kamwambie mumeo unahitaji viatu. Amen. When you engage someone, unapoposa mtu fulani, automatically you're saying your parents has to stop supporting you. Yaani ni umesema moja kwa moja kwamba wazazi wako inabidi waache kukushughulikia. Power. Sasa uko chini ya miliki yangu. Yes. Ndiyo. So if Christ can not support us, kwa hiyo kama Kristo hawezi kutushughulikia, why are we saying is our husband? Sasa tunasemaje kwamba yeye ni mume wetu? The husband who cannot support the wife. Mume asiyeweza kumshughulikia mke wake. Hey, he's not the husband. Huyo sio mume huyo. We must look for another husband. Inabidi utafute mume mwingine. In natural. Katika maumbile au alisia. You are married. Umeolewa. You have your own house. Unayo nyumba yako mwenyewe. Your father and mother is buying clothes for you. Baba yako na mama yako wanakununulia nguo. There is that man here. Kama kuna mwanaume kama huyo hapa. Mniletee kwanza. I whip him. Nitamchalaza fimbo. Is not a man. Huyo sio mwanaume. A man failing to support a wife. Mwanaume anayeshindwa kumtunza mke. Not a man. Sio mwanaume. Be ashamed of yourself. Eh. Jionea aibu. You must die for your wife. Inabidi umfie mkeo. You must die for your family. Lazima uifie familia yako. Okay, if you can do that. Kwa kama wewe sasa unaweza kufanya hilo. What about Jesus? Vipi kuhusu Yesu? Because he say, kwa sababu anasema, if your son ask for fish, kama mwanao anaomba samaki you can't give him snake wewe kumpa nyoka if he ask for bread kama anahitaji mkate you cannot give him stone wewe kumpa jiwe but if you sasa kama wewe you know how to give 
your children good things kama nyie mnajua kuwapa watoto wenu vitu vizuri what about your husband who is in heaven vipi kuhusu mume wako aliye mbinguni if you marry a wife a girl unapooa binti she was small alikuwa mdogo slim mwembamba she goes to your place anakuja kwako she get fat ananenepa looking good anaonekana vizuri then the, the, the father knows that my my daughter is kept well ndipo baba yake anajua kwamba huko binti yangu anatunzwa vizuri if you marry a girl fat unapooa mwanamke bonge looking beautiful anaonekana mrembo goes to her home anakuja nyumbani kwake ambako ni kwako anakuwa kembamba hivi then the father gets worried baba anakuwa na wasiwasi yes. he can only fail to ask you hawezi tu kukuuliza ha? but you ha? yani hata kuuliza tu ishuko a daughter ila atamuita binti come here njo hapa to the husband no kwa mwanaume hapana but to, to, to the daughter come ila binti yake atamuita njo njo how is the situation at home nyumbani kwako hapo mambo yakoje are you okay uko vizuri kweli wewe but you're not looking okay lakini haonekani kama uko vizuri ulikuwa mnene when you go to your place ulipoenda mahali pako hey hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we tuna wasiwasi the way you're looking namna unaonekana but you got natural hair ulikuwa na nywele nzuri za asili but as at now lakini eh sasa hivi short hair fupi where's that long hair zile nywele ndefu ziko wapi zile then if that situation continues sasa kama hiyo hali ikiendelea the father will say no baba atasema hapana let me call the husband ngoje nimuite mumewe njoo bwana hapa what's the problem shida nini I'm, i'm not saying anything wrong but what's the problem ah, sisemi kwamba kuna shida lakini ti shida ni nini i've seen my daughter nimemuona binti yangu ah aha Can you tell me the reason why my daughter is looking like this? Siwezi kukuambia sababu kwa nini anaonekana hivi? Unaweza kuniambia sababu kwa nini yuko hivi? If the husband says ah, nothing, kama mume atasema ah, hakuna shida. We are okay. Ah, tuko tu vizuri. If it was my daughter, kama huyo angekuwa ni binti yangu mimi, I'll tell you go. Ningemwambia nenda. Leave my child home. Niachie binti yangu nyumbani. <laughs> Let me first examine her. Em ngoja kwanza nimchunguze vizuri kwanza. Give me two weeks or three weeks. Em nipe wiki mbili au tatu. If it's going to change, kama atabadilika, then you have a problem. Wewe ndio shida kumbe. Amen. Amina. You know, Satan is also looking for you again. Unajua shetani bado anakufuatilia. Yes, he was enjoying your Unajua, relationship with him. Unajua uhusiano mliokuwa nao alikuwa na yeye anaufurahia. So Ndio maana pia yuko hapa. He's waiting for you to resign. Anakusubiri wewe u, ujiuzuru. Asante. <laughs> Is there telling you? Yuko pale anakuambia. You are looking beautiful. Ah, ulikuwa unaonekana vizuri. When we were two. Ah, tulipokuwa pamoja. Ah, yeah. you were smiling. Yaani ulikuwa unatabasamu. Your face was beautiful. Ah, usura yako ilikuwa mwanana. Now with this message. Sasa ukiona huu ujumbe. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> with this husband of yours. <laughs> ukiona huyu mmeo huyu wa sasa hivi. <laughs> hey, the face. Yeah. Yo sula. <laughs> But if you fail to answer him, <laughs> kwa hiyo ukishindwa kumjibu, you go to Jesus. Ataenda kwa Yesu. That your wife. Ah, mke wako. <laughs> The face. Sura <laughs> yake. When I was with her, 
Nilipokuwa naye ah, she was beautiful. Ah, alikuwa anawaka bwana. And you the husband. Lakini sasa mume wewe. <laughs> no, you but there must be a, a, a change. Unajua lazima kuwe na badiliko. We are not slaves. Sisi sio watumwa. We are sons and daughters. Sisi ni wana na binti. We are a wife of somebody. Sisi ni wake wa mtu fulani. I want you now to go through your life. Sasa nataka uyapitie maisha yako. What can you make you not to receive the Holy Spirit? Ni kitu gani kinakufanya usipokee Roho Mtakatifu? Don't, don't ask for someone to to prophesy. Usitake mpaka mtu fulani akutolee unabii. Au akutabirie. You know the problem with my pastor. Unajua shida ya mchungaji wangu? No spiritual eyes. Ah, sio mtu wa kiroho. No problem. Ah, kuna shida. It's not you. Si wewe. Is a servant of somebody else. Ni mtumishi wa mtu fulani. That's all. Hivyo tu. With no spiritual eyes. Akiwa hana macho ya kiroho, he will see it fit to be a pastor. Yeye anaona kwamba anafaa kuwa mchungaji. Oh what you need? Yote wewe unayohitaji is to tell him to tell him all your problems. Ni kumuelezea shida zako zote. When you come here, unapokuja hapa, tell Jesus everything. Mwambie Yesu kila kitu. Reconcile with your husband. Patana na mume wako. My husband, I've not been enjoying our relationship. Mume wangu, nimekuwa si faidi mahusiano yetu. You've been giving me small small things. Yaani umekuwa umenipa tu vitu vidogo kitu vidogo vidogo. I know you have so many silver and gold. Najua wewe una dhahabu na fedha. I know that it's yours. Najua yote hayo ni yako. And I know the reason why you're not giving me it's because I'm not good. Najua sababu ya wewe kutokunipa ni kwa sababu mimi sio mwema. I'm not a good wife. Mimi sio mke mwema. But I've come today. Lakini nimekuja leo to tell you kukuambia that from today. Kwamba kuanzia leo I want to become a good wife. Nataka kuwa mke mwema. I want to enjoy all that you are. Nataka kufaidi yote ulionayo. You know that foolish guy? Unajua yule jamaa mjinga yule, Satan, shetani. He's laughing at me. Ananicheka. I'm not feeling good. Na mimi sijisikii vizuri. That foolish guy to laugh at me. Kwa huyu jamaa mpumbavu kunichekelea. I know that I refused him. Najua kwamba nimemkataa. And I've accepted na mimi nimekukubali wewe ili uwe mume wangu the only problem that is there shida pekee tu iliyopo mimi sio mke mwema that's why that foolish guy is laughing at me and ndio maana yule jamaa mpuuzi ananichekelea but i've come today lakini leo nimekuja that you become a good husband to me ili we uwe mume mwema mwema kwangu i become a good wife to you na mimi niwe mke mwema kwako if we agree kama tutakubaliana The only thing that I will know that you have agreed. Jambo pekee nitakalojua kwamba umenikubalia. Give me the Holy Spirit. Nipatie Roho Mtakatifu. If we finish that. Tukimaliza hiyo kesi. We'll go together. Tutatembea pamoja. And we beat the foolish one. Na tutalipiga lile jamaa lijinga lile. Amen. You must go with your husband. Lazima uende na mumeo. To beat that foolish guy. Kuli piga hilo jamaa lijinga hilo and to tell him na kuliambia that from today kwamba kuanzia leo is the is, is good my husband to me now mimi ni eh huyu ni mume wangu mzuri kwangu is going to give me now everything that i need ataenda kunipa kila kitu ninachokitaka yes ndio you don't need any applications hauhitaji kufanya maombi yoyote kutuma maombi yoyote no hapana it's just there ni hapo tu ulipo It's just waiting for you Ni na yeye anakusubiria wewe It's just to say sorry 
inabidi useme samahani au nasikitika the holy spirit is there for you Roho mtakatifu yuko pale kwa ajili yako. It's yours. Ni wako. Healing it's yours. Uponyaji ni wako. Whatever that you see here it's yours. Chochote unachokiona hapa ni mali yako. Only if you become a good wife. Ili ila tu ni uwe mke mwema. If you're a good wife, kama wewe ni mke mwema, and is is not supporting you na mungu hakushughuliki now it's a fight sasa hapo ni pambano yes. you must come here now sasa hebu njoo inabidi uje hapa kwanza don't even kneel down hata sio hata usipige magoti no. usipige magoti you cannot fight when you are, you are unajua uweze kupigana ukiwa umepiga magoti no hapana <coughs> when you come here unapokuja hapa tell him jesus come here mbia yesu njo hapa stand right here Naomba usimame hapa. Don't go very far. Right here. Usiende mbali sana. Sogea tu hapa karibu hapa. I want to ask you why I'm not receiving the Holy Spirit. Nataka nikuulize kwa nini sipokei Roho Mtakatifu. And I want you to tell me today. Na nataka uniambie leo hii if you have failed to give me the Holy Spirit. Kama wewe umeshindwa kunipa Roho Mtakatifu. It's today. Ni leo. Not the other day. Sio siku nyingine. No. Hapana. Leo hii. Amen. Some of you you have fasted. Ah, oh, baadhi yenu mlifunga au mmefunga. Come tell Jesus. Njoo umwambie Yesu everything that you want. Kila kitu unachokihitaji. Be provoked. Hebu uchokozeke. Au uchochewe. It's not every time you must be a sheep. Yaani sio kila wakati inabidi tu uwe kondoo. No, sometimes you must be provoked. Wakati mwingine inabidi uchochewe. They were telling us that in in you there is also a lion. Walikuwa wakituambia kwamba ndani yako pia kuna simba. <coughs> Why are you always using a sheep? Kwa nini mara zote unatumia tu wako kamuonekana au katabia ka kondoo? I'm provoking you today to use a spirit of a lion. Na wachokoza mfike mahali mtumie hiyo tabia ya simba hiyo. Be provoked tell him I've stayed long in this message. Yaani fika mahali useme nimekaa vya kutosha muda mrefu kwenye huu ujumbe. And I've just been at the same level. Na nimekuwa kwenye kiwango kile kile. What's wrong with me? Nina shida gani? If there is something which I don't know what I'm doing. Kama kuna jambo ambalo silijui jinsi ninavyolifanya. Tell me right here. Niambie hapa hapa so that I repent. Ili kwamba nilitubie so that you give me the Holy Spirit. Ili kwamba unipatie Roho Mtakatifu. hutaenda mbinguni because you have been a member for a long time kwa sababu umekuwa mshirika wa muda mrefu i'm not going to go to heaven hauendi mbinguni because you have been baptized in the name of jesus christ kwa sababu umebatizwa kwa jina la yesu kristo you are not going to go to heaven hauendi mbinguni because you have a preacher who has the holy spirit kwa sababu unamhubiri aliye na roho mtakatifu no hapana you are going to go to heaven Unaenda mbinguni when you have received the Holy Spirit. Unapopokea Roho Mtakatifu. That's the qualification of going to heaven. Hicho ndicho kigezo cha kwenda mbinguni. And it's a must you must receive. Na ni lazima upokee. And make it now. Now na ufanya hivyo sasa. We have enough time. Tuna muda wa kutosha. It's just morning. Ni sasa hivi ni asubuhi tu. We can pray until the sun goes down. Tunaweza tukaomba paka jua linatua. It's a convention. 
ni mkutano you, you did not come here so that at 12 o'clock you go home yani haukuja hapa ili ikifika saa sita urudi nyumbani you came here ulikuja hapa up to 18 hours mpaka saa 12 jioni you have no problem you have, you have no special programs i mean hauna hatuna ratiba maalum if you have that special program kama unayo ratiba maalum tell that special program iambie hiyo ratiba yako maalum that have received another special program nimepokea program nyingine maalum this one is more special than you hii ni ma- maalum zaidi yako wewe if you cannot wait kama huwezi kusubiri go nenda i want to receive the holy spirit nataka kupokea roho mtakatifu i've told you nimewaambieni these men have nothing to do with you hawa watu hawahusiani na nyie yani their weaknesses madhaifu yao they are, they are between him and god madhaifu yao ni kati yao wao na mungu you have your own issues na wewe una mambo yako i have my own issues na mimi na yangu by the way hata hivyo pastor hata hivyo kuwa mchungaji it's not been an angel sio kuwa malaika i'm a human being na mimi ni mwanadamu. I make mistakes as you do. Nafanya makosa kama tu wewe unavyofanya makosa. I get as you do. Na kasirika kama ambavyo wewe pia unakasirika. Yes. Ndiyo. I get affected. Na mimi pia nadhurika. As you just been doing. Kama tu ambavyo nyie mnafanya. If the, co- the economy is down kama uchumi uko chini I also get affected. Na mimi pia naathirika. As you just been affected. Kama ambavyo na nyie pia mnaathirika. Na mimi ni mwanadamu. Tusimame. ninapomwalika mtume Marasha No one is going to call you for out of call Hakuna atakayenda kukuita mwito wa madhabahuni Just come by yourself be convinced Wewe njoo tu mwenyewe shawishika 